Hello friends, another game-changing update to Stable Fusion and ControlNet where you can have an input image and keep the same face, style, well, whatever. Have a face, put that person into different poses, make the person laugh, cry, angry, whatever. Let's have a look at reference only. It is truly mind-blowing and again, this is not a clickbait. Let me show you. A book just fell on my head. I only have my shelf to blame. So we are back into our trusty old stable diffusion and we are going to be playing with uh, control net this little down right here. Make sure you have the latest version. As of recording this video, it's going to be 1.1.162 and uh, it's updated all the time. So as long as you got something later than that, you're going to be fine. And you're going to go into extensions here, press the little check for updates. And whenever that's finished, you're going to see here to the right, it's going to say either latest or you're going to be able to update it. And you do that by pressing the apply and restart UI button here. If that doesn't work for you, you also need to update your automatic 1111 or Vlad Diffusion, whatever you're using. The easiest way is just go into your stable Diffusion folder and type git pull. And that will show you if you're already up to date or if you, you need to update and that will be done automatically. Anyway, let's get back to the new control net reference only, which is a truly game changing control net preprocessor here. So I've added this image here and uh, let me show you quickly how this works. You don't need to make any changes now apart from enabling control net and setting the preprocessor to reference only and adding an image and let's change this in debt instead to woman smiling I'm gonna load my usual styles as always these can be found in the video description free to download i'm using control arrow up to wait this woman smiling and then we're gonna have 25 steps on oil array we're gonna do it four batches i'm just doing a regular old 512 by 512 to show you guys with the deliberate model and as you can see coming up on the screen now we have women that are similar to our input image we're not using any dream booth we're not using laura's or anything like that but these images of this woman or at least some of the women smiling are similar to the one here we have a purple hair even the shoulder here on three of them have this sort of similar um, color gradient now the images aren't great however you can see that they're kind of messed up a little bit and that's actually something that's being worked on and if you see the official github discussion here Elias Vielo is a collaborator and author of this says they will be investigating blurring collapsing problems today hopefully hopefully we will be able to find a fix so whenever this video is released that might be fixed however if you change control mode from balance to either my prompt is more important or control net is more important you can get around this so let's use the same seed here now and let's run four new ones and you will see that these four new ones will actually work as intended and as you can see we're getting the same sort of style that we had in our original image we have the purple hair we have the shoulder there coming in at least in two of them and now the image is not blurred grainy or messed up anymore and actually in all four of the images she's actually smiling now so i'd say that's a success for now it will not resemble the person 100 percent. so if you're putting yourself in and you think oh it's going to be 100 percent me we're not quite there yet but if you can combine this with dream booth laura's whatever however i'm not sure we're going to need to for much longer since this is um, getting much better each day let's not stop here with the power of multi-control net we can actually do more with this so i have a pose here so this is an open pose so i have this are the hands going up there and this is the face here the the pink and purple and the blue is the neck there and then i'm gonna set here i'm gonna set the open pose now we don't need a preprocessor 
because it is, this is already an um, open pose image. Uh, this is something that I got from Pose My Art. So I just uh, took a model here, loaded that, exported to open pose, and that will get you that image. Anyway, this has been enabled. We're not changing anything here, and we are running this again. So now we have a control net zero, which is the previous one enabled. And we have the new control net one, which is the open post also enabled. And now I'm expecting to see four new images in this post, all of them hopefully resembling this woman here, or at least some parts of her. So let's see. Now we have the four women here. We have our original input. So all of them have pink purplish hair in a similar tone. We have the nebula gradient on the clothing apparent in, well, almost all of, uh, actually all of the images in various ways. Now our second image here didn't follow the pose, but number one, three, and four did, and did so fairly well. And she is uh, still smiling like we asked in the prompt here. So I think this is a great success, in the words of Borat. Now, if you were to change her, just simply saying something like woman crying and we're using everything else the same. We have the same control net input zero. We have the same pose. So we should hopefully get everything, well, not everything, but most of the images similar, but still have her crying now instead of smiling. And as you can see here, our second image still is the one without the arm going up. One, three, and four have the arms. Now the clothes have changed a little bit, so we don't have exactly the same image where she's crying, but it's fairly similar. And you can still see that it's her, but it's just variations. So this is an extremely powerful tool. And I think this is the next step forward when it comes to control net. And if you've been around for some time and know your way around control net, you're going to be able to do amazing images with this. And honestly, if you're just starting out, you're also going to be able to do amazing images with this because control it is so very, very powerful. Let's do a quick test with another image. Let's take this uh, old man here. We're going to disable the second control net. We're changing this into old man angry. And we're running four images. And uh, let's see what we get out of this. Now, our input image is a photorealistic style, and the styles I have loaded are more digital oil painting. So we're not going to see a similar style on the image. As you can see here, it's a little more photorealistic on the left ones, and these are more hyper-realistic paintings-esque. It works. How about if we take, I actually have the prompt for that image. So let's just take this one and we're going to load that up in here. Make sure to remove the other styles. And we're going to have old rough man crying. Let's do crying this time. And let's see if we can get him to cry. And we should get a little more photorealistic style as we change the prompt here. It's not dependent on the input image. Now it will reference our image uh, obviously but the prompt is also quite important so as you can see now we have a more photorealistic style but the man is um, is crying so i hope you had fun watching this game changing update to control net i'm going to keep tabs on what's going on and uh, since this was just released uh, today I am expecting it to get uh, a little better with bug fixes and stuff the coming days. Uh, I hope I'll see you in the next video. As always, have a good one. See ya.